Samsung was one of the first companies to create a smartwatch, along with Pebble, LG, and countless other companies who forged the trail for smartwatches we have today. Samsung has finally found their stride with the Gear S2. It brings together the best features from all previous designs that weren't necessarily perfect and puts them into a classy rounded design that helps to define how a smartwatch should look. Today, most consumers can associate smartwatches with Apple and Pebble. These are two of the leading companies that currently rank highly with consumers. When I first learned about the Gear S2, I didn't have the highest of thoughts about the device. I figured it would just be another smartwatch with tons of useless features and not a very carefully thought out interface. But just using it for a couple of days, I've come to the realization that this smartwatch can perform. Running on Samsung's proprietary platform, Tizen plays an integral role for the smartwatch as the user interface for this machine is actually quite impressive. It uses the rounded design as a way to navigate the device, which is different and arguably better than the knob on the Apple Watch. The user interface is the essence of the smartwatch, and if it isn't good, then you're not going to have a good smartwatch. And while I won't say the Gear S2's user interface is the best I've ever seen, it does check a lot of boxes in terms of ease of use and efficiency. Now the user interface needs a place to live, and that's where the wearable form factor comes into play. In the Gear S2, the device comes with a waterproof design that is standard on most smartwatches and comes with an NFC for wireless charging. From these two specs, you would say that this is not a very impressive smartwatch. In fact, if a smartwatch doesn't have these features, you could probably say it shouldn't be considered a smartwatch at all. But the leg up the Samsung Gear S2 does have is the ability to connect through 3G and 4G carrier signals, which basically lets the smartwatch become a smartphone. This is one of the key selling features for this device, because other mainstream smartwatches don't come close to the ability as a standalone device. From this perspective, this is the defining reason you would purchase a Samsung Gear S2. Looking at the user interface through a 360 degree screen can be different for some, but using it will actually show you that this is a very effective way of displaying information. But looking at the display, which is only 1.2 inches, can become a bit of a strain. However, I don't exactly blame Samsung for having such a small screen, as most companies haven't figured out how to display information on such a small screen. Frankly, everything else on this device is standard. Specifications wise, it's the same as most other smartwatches, and you shouldn't worry that the watch won't have the specs you're looking for, because Samsung most likely has included it. One disappointment with the Gear S2 is the amount of apps that are available. In this category, I would say that Apple has been the most successful in integrating third-party apps for workouts, maps, food, and watch faces. Here, Samsung does have a few options, but these categories are very limited and not vast or expensive. You can pick up the Gear S2 in the regular silver, gray, black, platinum, as well as the 18 karat rose gold. This is the standard for most upscale watches, and it does come in two variants, the classic or the just plain Gear S2, which is more for the sporty type. Honestly, for $249.99, how could you go wrong with a smartwatch like the Gear S2? It's made by one of the most popular companies in the world and has the best features and specs for a smartwatch, as well as a key selling feature for the 3G and 4G signal. If you're looking for an Apple Watch alternative, you've just found your answer.